Hey, and welcome back to Retro Tech. I'm Steve, and today we're looking at our very new uh, acquisition here at the Retro Tech Garage, and that's this Neo Geo MVS arcade cabinet. I've been looking for one of these for a long time, and a great deal came available through a Facebook group I've been in, and I just had to jump on it. Some things to note about this, this one's a four slot arcade unit. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any games for it. I actually did get to test it with games. It looked great. That's one of the reasons I picked it up. It worked so well. However, all the games that the owner had in it were well over $300 a piece. And that was not what I was willing to spend on my first game for the machine. So today I'm going to another arcade that has a couple of cartridges I've set up to pick up that will fit in this machine so that after we go get the cartridges, we can fire this bad boy up and take a look. And then we'll kind of go over how grungy and uh, what we really need to work on and fix and fully restore this thing as it's part of a planned project for 2018. Thanks for staying tuned. And let's go check out that arcade store. Welcome back. I made it back from the arcade. Unfortunately, I was not able to capture any footage there. Um, to make a long story short, uh, the guys were happy to sell me the cartridges, but acted a little weird when I started to talk to them about coming and shooting some footage. I understand. Uh, but just in case you ever come into a situation where maybe you want to try to find some kind of rare um, games for your arcade unit locally, always try a local arcade and see. It's always worth a shot before you have to go and start hunting online. Today I wanted to take a closer look at the machine real quick. I did get these three games that I'll be installing here shortly and we'll boot up the arcade and make sure that it comes on again. Um, I want to show you what on this machine has uh, needs some work. For the most part internally it's really great but it still needs to be cleaned. Um, the one thing I've already done to this machine was I already had to take apart the buttons and clean all them because they had about 25 years of gunk built in them and they just weren't weren't working. So even before I got to test, I will be able to take those. I will have to take those apart again because again I'm taking all these stuff off and we're going to do a full restoration on this thing uh, to try to make it look as great as possible. Probably a little bit of custom paint work and uh, stenciling, um, some other. Uh, things that uh, we're just going to try out on this. So let's take a closer look at the unit now. Myself back by the um, front of the arcade cabinet, and uh, like I said, I got these buttons that I had to replay or clean out. But just to show you, this unit actually has this uh, whole arcade. This the sticks come down like this, opens nicely. There is some hinges that hold that in place when you want to reinsert it, but that's where the games go. You can go on there and insert the games. Let's flip around and take a look at that. And here's inside the unit. Um, you can kind of see here it gives you a little bit of instructions on how to insert the cartridges. Thankfully this unit came with a very nice original manual that I've got. It's got service uh, techniques as well as parts, numbers, and uh, also schematics for the whole uh, unit in there. There's the actual arcade console you can see down there, the four slot, one, two, three, four, the battery on the side. Uh, I'm playing on, you can just see how much dust and grime has built up in this thing. So we've got some rust on the metal parts there. I want to clean all that off and just take it apart, give it some good love. And uh, see, this is all going to need to be repainted. Um, up here and then let's just go down here to the front uh, a lot of this stuff is still in there just the locks are gone thankfully uh, the guy did have this installed inside which is a uh, I'm not sure if that's normally there but it probably is but that's just so I can do service credits and not have to uh, worry about putting quarters in it so We'll just keep looking around here. I want to show some other things that are obviously going to need some work. The tube is beautiful. A major thing is going to be this marquee. I'm getting a lot of uh, feedback on one of the speakers. I'm going to have to pay repair. But the real problem is this. Uh, this marquee still had the original key locks in it. And 
those I didn't get any keys for. The guy didn't have any. He told me I was going to have to basically uh, take it apart by using a drill or a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to have to do that to get inside there and just see what's going on and repair up there. I want to make, um, I was thinking maybe either to keep this the way it is or might even come up with something special uh, for this marquee. I don't believe it's lighting up right now, so that's another thing I need to look at. Going around to the side here, you can see some damage to the side of the unit up here. And um, this is going to be something I've never done, but I'm going to have to try to figure out some way to try to uh, sand this down a little bit. Put in some kind of Bondo filler, paint over it, and um, since we're do that, I mean the paint's not going to match this old paint, I'm sure. So I'm going to have to probably try to re-stencil paint all this. The bottom is the same way; needs some paint. This is probably the worst spot for that. Is that right there? Uh, let's continue to go around the monitor back here. It's just really still got a lot of grime and dirt on it, so a lot of it's going to be cleaning the back side of the console again down there there's the power supply you just have to put a regular power cord into it still just oh just so much dirt but we're going to take care of all that that's the easy easy time consuming repairs the other side of it still looks pretty good uh not as much damage more cleaning uh pretty sharp so that's kind of where we're at i'm going to set up now put some games in here let's see how that goes back and opened the, um, the sticks area. Again, I've got three games. Um, first, I'd just like to put in maybe one in the number one slot and just to make sure it fires up and turns on. Maybe in another video we'll do some more testing, but this is just a test to make sure this runs and to see how to hook it up properly. So, again, it says to Make sure the arrows match where the cartridge goes. So I'm assuming that the arrows on this side, like this, where my uh, inverted pyramid is there on my game cartridge. And I'm just, this is Neo Turf Masters. Always put these cartridges in before you power your arcade on. That should be pretty much it. So now let's just close it up for right now. And I'm gonna go behind there and boot it up and hopefully we'll get to see some game. Power, sound, and video. Oh yes, it appears we do have some working. Maybe I'll need to reseat the cartridge, clean it a little bit, because I'm getting some artifacts on the screen. I just wanted to show that that was just because of the seating of the uh, cartridge is the reason it had all those artifacts. So yeah, just reset it and it works great. I'm sorry for the glare and also, like I said, that feedback from that speaker, that's going to have to be fixed. Otherwise, this thing looks great. And that's pretty much what we're looking at here. This is going to be a uh, lengthy project that I will be periodically working on in between jobs that um, I'll be showing and documenting as I go each step, kind of walking through that and my budget let's talk a little bit about numbers because i think that's going to be an important thing i actually was able to get this arcade let's talk about how much five hundred dollars for the machine which to me is a good deal where i live and then i had to pay two hundred dollars for the three cartridges and that was also a good deal considering i couldn't find them anywhere except for ebay and they would have been more money on ebay I will be asking for some help on this project because there's some things I'm just not 100% familiar with and um, the budget for replacing some small parts and um, paint and everything, I'm going to try to stick to about $300 total but we'll go through that and keep up with that and see if we can hit that mark. So at the end of the day we'll have $1,000 invested in something that's going to be a showpiece item hopefully. I'm glad that you uh, have been following with me so far. Please continue to do so. This is not our only project. I've got other projects that are going on right now that I'm going to be uh, announcing soon also. Uh, please stay tuned to RetroTech. Help spread the channel. Share, like, and subscribe, and have a great day.